Here's another music related and gaming related hack I made that applies to the MSX. Because there are a lot of Z80 machines that I wanted to retrofit and upgrade or otherwise control for my research. So tired of my previously hacky solutions, I created iZ80. It's a somewhat dense 4 layer PCB that has the exact footprint of an original Z80. And it can be used in virtually any system that uses one, provided it's socketed. And it's non-destructive, so you can take it out and forget it's ever there. It takes control of the whole system and it can emulate a real Z80, but you could also program it any way you want in C++, uh, demos, trackers, games, anything you need. Without doing a single line of Z80 assembly. As only the CPU and its program address space is emulated, the firmware still uses the existing audio, video and I.O. from the machine. This means you'll get the original audio and video in all its analog CRT glory. And the same peripherals are still used like joysticks and keyboards. So you still feel you're messing with the, the original thing even though there's a layer of hack inside of it. And it's all zero lag since the uh, Cortex M4 MCU on there is really programmed bare metal. So it responds to the 60 Hz interrupt coming from the video chips virtually instantly just like a real Z80 would. In short, for most games you wouldn't see or hear a difference. It runs generally faster than a real Z80. It may, it may even fix some slowdowns. The iZ80 has a SD card slot which you can fill with not only MSX1 games but also games from system which share the same video and audio hardware. But this is where it gets more interesting. Five more systems use nearly the same hardware except for audio. But as the PSG inside the, the MSX it is nearly just a superset of the DCSG, my code live converts the data towards the PSGs, which means those systems' games are also available. Why stop there? Remember, the Z80 is just emulated, but doesn't even need to be in the picture. Uh, so my firmware also emulates uh, 6502, which then adds the uh, VTEC Creativision in there. Uh, there's some nice games that haven't been ported. And I've got uh, preliminary support for, for the Tommy Tutor. And uh, the TI-99 could also be done. That's all fun and games, but principally I'm a video game music nut and synthesizer designer, so you can of course play VGM and VGZ files directly off the SD card. And it of course detects and use the MSX sound cartridges that you have, like the uh, Konami SCC. Lastly, the board is equipped with a USB connector that can be used either for firmware updates or for live media inputs, 